another project check. <laughs> This is the one you all have been waiting yeah, for. Yeah, this is the one that I caught more flack over than anything else, you know, in the comment section, whenever we would ever be talking about the trailer. And have you got those comments down there? Yeah, yeah. And then some of those that have gotten, some of our followers who we've gotten to know real well and become regular friends with, um, have been on my, uh, on my back, case. so to speak. Just okay, on my case, case, you know. <laughs> Do those do those drawer fronts. Do those drawer fronts. You got that done yet? Got that done yet? Go guess what? We got it done. We got it done. Yeah. yeah. And they turned out I better than I expected, well, actually. I, that makes me feel really I mean, I think they turned out absolutely gorgeous. You know, that's the first you've said that. I know. Sorry. You, you've been you and you We've have been working. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if you liked them or not. <laughs> They're satisfactory. <laughs> satisfactory? <laughs> anyway, um, so we're going to go into detail um, about everything. And first, though, before we go into detail about everything, I want to show this one clip right quick that we shot the other day right in the middle because they need to see that first. Yes. And then we will move from there and we'll pick back up after the clip and then uh, we'll go into a little bit more detail about how we did this and how we did that. So here's that clip. <laughs> well, we definitely got a mess going on here, don't we? That, that's yeah. what happens every time we try to do a project. I know. <laughs> we tear up the house. <laughs> the frustration factor has been, what would you say, from one to ten? It, Nine it, and a half. Oh, it hasn't been that bad, <laughs> but it's been up there now and then. Um, anyway, oh. there's just one quickie thing we wanted to point out right quick uh, in this video. And so far, it's pretty much going the way we had talked about in our previous video. Uh, got these working here. Got them adjusted right. Got my stuff back in. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting the kitchen back slowly but surely. And and they're working, you know, the way we wanted. But there's something that we learned, or I learned, that I hadn't thought about before. Now what I did when we originally got the Reva Shelf kits, and this is before we got the flanges. Right. Which are, which well, are I've these. had these two in since whew, forever. <laughs> yeah, now these two we've had in for quite a while. And uh, then Deb ordered um, these Reva Shelf kits, you know, just recently. And then we ordered these flange kits later. And this is after we had already installed the Reva Shelf kits, so we would at least have a place, place to, to put start stuff. storing yeah, stuff <laughs> right and while i was in the process of installing uh these over here i measured them off and everything the original reva shelf kits before we had the flange and i made sure i measured from the reva shelf kit itself to make sure I, at least i thought that it was square to the world Yes. You know, because having a square to the world or square, actually square to the door is very, very important. The square to the door that you'll eventually put on there. So what you want to make sure that you want to do, and this is what I'm alluding to, take take the camera here, babe. And uh, let me get down here. What you want to make certain of is, and I've got this straight edge here. I laid this straight edge up here like this. Now what you want to make certain of because this is the front of the cabinet and your door, you know, you want it to come flush here. You want to make sure that these flanges are coming up even right here and here as well. And you see I've got them where they're pretty much even touching this, uh, this straight edge here that I'm using here to verify that. Now, originally when I checked this before I started doing anything else, this one over here was way off. Um, when I pulled this up here, this flange over here was touching, but this one was gapping by at least a quarter of an inch. Now, I had already installed the, the Reva Shelf kit, you know, a couple weeks ago. And so then what I ended up having to do, I had to take loose, there's four screws down here, one on each corner of this brace. I don't know if they'll be able to see that or not, but anyway, there's a screw here, screw here, screw here, screw here that's in part of this rack right here and 
what I had to do was take three of those screws loose and just have one screw right here. Uh, then on the flange at the very back, back here, I had to take all of those loose back there. Here you go. You can have it back now. So, because what I ended up having to do was swing this entire Revishelf kit this way in order to make sure that these, you know, came out. So what we're alluding to right here is when you when you buy these Revishelf kits, which you can get them at Lowe's, I mean you can get them most ever everywhere. When you get these Revishelf kits, and if you intend on using these flanges like this so you can, you know, make your 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 front drawer part of it where you know it all pulls out like it is over here on this side show the show what we're talking about like it is over here on this side if this is what you're how, how you're wanting to do it you need to go ahead and buy the flange kits at the same time and install them on the bottom shelf before you actually mount the Reva shelf kit in there so you can use something for a straight edge to make sure that those flanges are square with the front of the cabinet that's very important uh, or you're going to have issues getting your doors you know lined up correctly side to side i mean it's going to be a booger uh <laughs> should i have said that it's all right okay we survived two of them now we just got yeah. two more to go no, let me have the camera here <laughs> now there is an adjustment the only adjustment on these is uh yeah you can see where i moved that and the screws the only thing you can adjust is the top of this going in and out and that's it you can go you know you loosen the screw and you can slide it back or you, you loosen the screw and you can slide it forward you know to to fit the the angle of the door this way you know but that's the only adjustment you have that's it so uh it's very important you know forget about trying to square the Reva shelf basic kit itself inside the cabinet the most important thing is to go ahead and put those flange kits on it which they're twenty dollars a set is that right yeah, Lowe's, they, yeah. yeah twenty dollars a set um now is it twenty dollars a set or twenty dollars per bracket a set okay for a, so twenty dollars for a whole drawer right okay all right i just wanted to make sure she's the one that ordered all that so yes yeah and so anyway if it was twenty dollars a bracket it would have been twice as much off your credit card oh yeah i forgot <laughs> Just FYI in you. <laughs> she has my credit card number. Yep. <laughs> when will we ever get that thing paid off? As soon as we stop spending money uh, on the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's something I wanted to point out right quick. Now we're going to move on to something else. Yes. All right. We'll be right. All right. Back. Now you see what a job yeah, it was. Yeah. What the challenge was there uh, on a couple of Reva shells where I had to uh, undo them you know from the from the where cabinet we where screwed I them into them. the cabinet right. <laughs> had to come almost completely undo them except for one screw and then shift them a little bit to make it come out the other two openings worked out just fine but there was two that i had to redo and uh i didn't i didn't get frustrated at all over that did i dear no uh, <laughs> <laughs> what uh, no. No, I, I wasn't. No, I, it, it didn't bother me at all. <laughs> trying to reach way back up in there, over the top of these Reva shelves that were already in there, you know. Yeah. Well, being, they were empty, big whiny. This is true. They I were empty. Them. Yeah, but still, the drawers were there. Now we did remove the top drawers when we, I reached in to do all that. Actually, we removed both sets. We, we did remove the drawers. But I had to have the bottom drawer in in order to line up those flanges. Okay, never Make mind. Make sure. See. <laughs> I don't think she was paying attention to that first clip. I was just hoping yeah. to get it done. <laughs> anyway, but it got done. And of course, after it got done, you know, my blood pressure started to come back down. And they look great. And they, yeah. we're, we're real happy with the way they come out. So why don't we step back over here and we'll right. show them a few things, okay? Okay. Well, first, while I'm still sitting here, babe, go ahead and demonstrate how this all works right here okay. on this one. This is why I love Reva shells so much. Number one, they hold 100 pounds. And I and take... And that's each drawer? Or is that the whole thing? The, the set. Okay. 
and I flat use them. I was going to say, if each drawer held 100 pounds, you'd try to figure well, out. Well, there's probably more pounds. than 100 pounds in there. Shh, don't tell anybody. But um, we had these in the red trailer, one set of them, because one of our um, followers suggested them. And then I had a set of drawers in the red trailer that did not hold up to bouncing down the road. So we fix that with another Revit shelf in the red trailer. So I knew I wanted these in this trailer. Yeah, they are pretty stout. They hold and up they really hold well. They hold up well, know. bouncing down the yeah, road. They're, they're a really good option uh, for, uh, what, yeah, for cargo conversions if yes. you're wanting to get this elaborate. And, and he got the drawer fronts on here, which makes this nice. Handles. And um, and those handles were just basic uh, inexpensive did, screen door handles. Yeah, they called right? them screen door handles. Mm -hmm. I got them from Menards. Menards, yeah. We'd never been into a Menards before and, until we got here. You know, they have all kinds, but this kind of, in my opinion, kind of goes with our whole theme. Mm -hmm. So I was perfectly happy with these, and you know, they weren't that expensive. Yeah. Two bucks, I think. Less yeah. than two bucks. Now, I was really concerned about getting these these drawer fronts lined up across here. And, you know, you can do all the measuring in the world. You can do all of the, the reference marks in the world and everything else. But when it comes right down to actually screwing the door fronts to your drawers, um, it doesn't take much and they will get out of line. So what I did, let me pull this out here and move some stuff back here. Um, you see this screw here, they're gonna see all of our drugs, dear. <laughs> and this screw over here, what I did there, those are the first screws that I screwed in. And what I did was I lined up my reference marks with the drawers empty and setting on top of my, my, my drawer front here. And I screw, I drew a, drilled a small hole just enough for the screws here and here. Then once I did that, then just on the drawer side, just on the drawer side itself, this piece you see here, I came back and I drilled a much larger hole as long as it wasn't bigger than the button head on the screws that I used here. And by drilling a much larger hole, that gave me, uh, it gave me uh, a way that I could make adjustments on the drawer fronts, you know, up and down. Uh, by just simply backing off the screw a little bit. So then what I did, I went ahead and just simply set this outside screw, this outside screw, and did the same thing over here. Just simply set this outside screw and that outside screw. Now remember, that's where my adjustments were. Then I went ahead and slid them back into place, set, stood back and eyeballed them and everything, determined where I had to make adjustments. Then all I had to do was come back in and loosen, and in this case, on this particular drawer, uh, I ended up loosening this screw just a little bit and raising this up a little bit here on this end, and then tightening the screw back down. And then, of course, you know, looked at them again, made sure they were pleasing to the eye. Once I was happy with getting these drawer fronts, you know, uh, right this way so that they lined up. Then I came back in and these other screws you see, this one here and this one here, and it's just like that on the other drawer over there. Those screws, uh, I screwed them in and they don't have any adjustment built into them. So basically those are there to hold that adjustment in place is what they do. Uh, if for some reason down the road, if they started to get out of Kelter again, all I would have to do is back these screws completely out, the inside ones that don't have adjustments built in, then uh, loosen these, re uh, readjust the drawer, and I'd probably come back and start a fresh hole, you know, uh, for, the, for the screws that hold it in place and don't let it move. I really don't see that happening, but anyway, that's, that's the technique that I lost a lot of sleep over trying to figure out how to do. Uh, in order to get my my drawer fronts lined up and uh, <clears throat> Deb wouldn't have cared so much I'll ask her about stuff like that and I'll say how does it look oh it looks fine to me but uh, uh, well the average person can't see a millisecond of an inch <laughs> I'm just saying 
<laughs> Do we want to talk about the towel rack that you wanted to try to hang? You want to, how about the sink okay, side? Okay, well, we won't talk about the towel rack. <laughs> now, over here, now on this side, let's just go back over here for a minute. This cabinet was built in such a way where it had an upright, you know, right in the middle. And in addition to that, how we attach these, we didn't talk about that. No. How we attach the drawer fronts to the, uh, to the flanges right here. Uh, what we did, these kits, the flange kits, come with uh, little sticky pads. And at first I was real concerned about using those sticky pads. I didn't know if they were going to hold up or not. But uh, I thought, well, we'll give them a shot anyway. And they worked. Right? And, and they did work. They were sticky right. enough to stick. <laughs> yeah. So what we did, uh, this has a petition in here, and I don't know if you can see it. But I had to cut a hole through the petition here. So I bailed open a drawer from the other side, reach through, and then push this bottom drawer up against, up against the door here. So what we did, we put sticky tabs, went ahead and put the sticky tabs on each flange, and then we pushed the drawer in. And then as far as the, the face is concerned, the, the, the drawer front, what we did there then, we lined it up in here, and then we took uh, playing cards. And the secret to using playing cards to use as shims to go around is you don't want to skimp. You know, don't just say, okay, I put a couple of playing cards here and a couple of playing cards over here. It looks straight. And then I'm going to stick it. No, you want to make sure that that door is firmly in place. So what we ended up doing, we actually stuck several playing cards here, several playing cards here, several here, several here. In other words, we stacked them in where this you couldn't budge this no matter what. Then once we had it where we felt like it was nice and secure and the playing cards regular old playing cards acting as shims had this lined up the way we wanted double checked it several times then all we had to do was reach through uh, the hole and I've reached through the hole and pushed that inside drawer up against this door here and the sticky tabs held it good enough where all then all I had to do was pull the playing cards out and lightly tug on this pulling it out and then the first thing I did was ran a screw here in the very top and a screw there. And then uh, the cabinet was, uh, the, the, the door was stuck well enough that I could be a little more aggressive and go ahead and screw in the rest of the screws, you know, to the flange. So that's, uh, that's the way we did it, how we approached it. And the first one is the one we learned a lot on. Yes, it took and, the longest. <laughs> yeah, it took the longest. But after we got, we figured out the technique, uh, the rest of it went pretty. Fairly simple. Fairly yes. simple. And see, we've got this so, side too. Yeah. This side, we just have a single because the plumbing is down there. Right. And uh, of course, this side, I have a double. Yeah. Because I had room. Yeah. <laughs> Now on this side too, what made it a little right. uh, more challenging is on this side, of course this is the sink cabinet and I just cut a false front and since, since there was no upright here on this cabinet like there is over here on that cabinet, uh, then this trick was try to get these all lined up, you know, where they were flush with each other. I still don't have it exactly where I want it, but there is enough adjustment where I can get that worked out. But it's, Deb is happy with it, I'm just not. But uh, I'll get there. But uh, the real thing about that was, since there was no center up right here, you know, for the, for the white board, you know, to have a reveal, I thought, well, I was gonna go ahead and make this look like two, two drawers and cut it here in the middle but the more we thought about it the more we thought well since it looks like one piece here let's just go ahead and do one solid uh, false drawer front here and uh, and leave it at that so this we still use the same technique the only thing was and what well I need to back up a little bit what we did we still set both both drawer fronts in here and still stacked them all out with with the playing cards all the way around both of them in here and then when we were happy with the gap here, you know, and the gaps on either side, 
Then we went ahead and pulled the playing cards all the way off of this one and took it away, but this one was still in place. So then, uh, using the other technique with the sticky pads, we pushed that drawer up against this one. We was able to screw it uh, to it while, while we, after we just pulled it out a little bit. And then we repeated the process. We had to realign this one back up again afterwards, you know, after we got this one in place. And then we were able to make fine tune adjustments uh, because you do have an adjustment on the top of this bracket in and out. That's the only adjustment you have. And what this helps you do is, uh, you know, get it where it's even on the bottom and on the top. So you're able to adjust the top in and out with that, uh, with that adjustment there. And it just took a little bit of playing with it back and forth until we got it. Until we right? got it. Yeah. So anyway, I'll be happy to give folks advice. <laughs> on how to do it, but don't ask me to come and help you. Because <laughs> I'm ready to move on to something else now. Yeah, yeah. we got other projects. Yeah. We got this one done. Yeah. The next project is trimming out the bathroom. Yeah, what we think we're going to do, um, I'm just going to step back and show them. They're going to see our laundry. No, I haven't put it away yet. Oh, I haven't put it away yet. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do back here, let me turn on some lights just so you'll know where we're going next you know, uh, I need to go ahead and wrap all this up right here and uh, I'll just have to ask you to be patient and wait and I'm not going to use the regular cover that comes with the fantastic fan I'm going to go ahead and frame out picture frame this out with wood and everything and do it differently which is what we did on the red trailer and we were always happy with the way that came out, so we're going to do the same thing here. But that's probably going to be our next project, right? I believe so. You know, and then of course we'll be trimming out uh, all this down here and around here. Uh, that's where we'll be working next. So that's the plan there. That's the plan. And then we have more you know to go after that yep but we're winding down slowly but we surely. got some more but we're getting closer but we're trying to get all these little odds and ends things done like that while we have while we can right. run saws <laughs> right and and hopefully and it shouldn't really take long that that project back there won't be nothing compared to no to all of this because no. you know i've been down that road before well we so hope i've got a pretty good much. idea <laughs> How, how that will go so the, the rest of the stuff that we'll be doing is going to be basic trimming i still have to build uh, a little door uh, where we have our excess hole to the pump and all that stuff i'm going to be you know framing out a, a door there on hinges and i think we're going to use magnets for that well we talked about magnets i don't know if we'll do magnets oh, we haven't or, decided never mind or hinges <laughs> we, the simplest thing would be Those. something like this here yeah you know and I'm, I'm kind of leaning back towards that myself. Is Stop. what I'm leaning to. It's, but mainly just something to uh, keep Delilah from. Well, yeah, up in there. it's to keep her out of there. You know, and so you know, basically, that when we get all the little odds and ends trimming done and stuff like that, then then I'm ready to do the floor. Then we start sanding the floor. Yeah. Don't we? Yeah, and I'm painting it, and then I'm going to do a foam finish on it. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, I, it's going to come out great. I already know it's going to come out. Yeah, great. I hope so. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for now, folks. Uh, we'll <laughs> Making have, progress. We'll have some more stuff for you soon, I'm pretty sure, because uh, I've got all these people and other wives are teaming up with <laughs> Deb, and they're wanting to know. Oh, we're, we're not giving you a hard Bill, time. Bill, when are you going to do this? When are you going to do that? When are you going to do this? No. You don't need to be sitting drinking coffee. Get in there and get to work. I don't think a single person has said that to you. Well, um, well you haven't heard it the way I hear it. No, oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's only been two years. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, we're going to let you go for now, folks. This is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And we are not camping. We are living. Y'all get out there and do some living. And we will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.